here we go. First try. Let's see if we can get her done. Woo! Hey, yo, yo, yo. What up? We are in the truck, as you can tell, and we are just leaving good old Walmart. Yeah, Bob likes to use the uh, garden entrance. Not as many people you can get in and out a lot faster in the garden entrance. But today, doing a video that you guys have requested. A ton of you have requested this one, and this one is shooting accuracy. This is what I do to improve my shooting accuracy, whether it's going to be a for solo hunting or whether it's going to be for big group hunting, um, this tactic just serves its purpose in training all types of different areas of the shooting. Everything to being able to train and acquire muscle memory on the drawing of your gun, you know, shouldering your gun, uh, placing your cheek, uh, looking at the sight the same, the entire nine yards, just building extreme muscle repetition is what we're after. We just bought all of our goods, bought some shells, bought some clay rock, and uh, we got two types of throwers and a handful of tactics and techniques that I'm excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned, we are on the way to the field. Well, we are here, there's a little bit of wind, so I hope it doesn't mess up the video too badly. But we are here, check it out, got a beautiful spot just on a little hill and this is what we're working with I went and bought me two cases of clay targets which they, it was like 12 bucks for both of them all in all and then we got our hand thrower I'm sure a lot of you out there know exactly what this is and if you don't you have not been shooting a shotgun very long this is just a solo thrower now you can throw this for other people or you can use it yourself and this tool right here we all overlook it as, man, I like the big throwers, you know, that throws them this way or that way. Here's the ticket with this, guys. This thing is the best marksman shotgun shooting tool for accuracy that you can get. Because what happens? You got to hold your shotgun with one hand, but then you got to throw it with this one. So when you do that over and over and you get good at throwing, throwing the clay, dropping the thrower, sh shouldering the gun, and smoking the target when you get good at that over and over and over that builds muscle memory in you shouldering that gun shouldering the gun comfortably and without having to think about it is literally over 50 percent i feel uh to shooting well now of course you know following the target uh leading the target everything like that we'll talk about and i'm gonna actually put on the uh head mount so you guys can be right there with me first person shooter style but if you guys like this hat or this dope shirt which it's a flying ducks on the back i will link it down below as well if you guys want to pick up a solo clay thrower like you're about to see me use i will link both of them products down below go pick you one up especially this bad boy it's extremely cheap this is under 10 bucks and uh, it's the best trainer that you can possibly have i guarantee it i'm actually going to switch up chokes real quick i'm going to start with a modified choke an extended modified this is actually a carlson choke nothing too fancy just their black cremator modified and i have the full as well so we're going to start out with the modified make it a little easier on myself uh, to actually hit the clay and then we will move up to the full and everything else and by the way this video this video was actually suggested by one of you guys I always ask you guys hey go drop a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see and this was one of them so I thank you whoever you were I cannot remember your name whoever you were drop a comment down below and let me know who we, who you were thank you sir and if you guys have any comments drop it down below let me know what you want to learn on one of these foul how-to videos I, actually you know what how about this if this video gets 500 likes you guys have been requesting me to do a choke video, you know, pattern testing choke tubes and shot. If this video gets 500 likes, that means you have to go like it right now. Next week, I will do a pattern testing and uh, follow this one up, you know, next week with the pattern testing video. So, if you want to see it, drop a thumbs up right now. So, this is the first try. See if I can get it. See if I can get it on my first try here. So, here we go. First try. Let's see if we can get her done. Woo! Woo! 
There we go. Boom. First try, got her done. If you guys like that video, if you guys like these videos, like I just said, drop me a big old thumbs up. So that was the first shot, went well. We got the modified choke in. I'm gonna shoot a couple more back to back to back to really get it figured out with this modified and then we'll try to roll towards the full choke to see if we can get it done with it as well. As you guys can see, I still have my snow goose uh, conservation tube on here, so it's gonna be a little front heavy. I think holding it with one arm, it's a lot heavier because I have a lot more shells in there, obviously. Um, but holding it with one arm, it's just, my gun's a lot heavier than normal. So I recommend only running three shells with your plug in because that's gonna really lighten your gun up. Pigeon season's coming up, as most of you know. That's another good reason for me to get out here and just practice my shooting skills and my shouldering skills is because we're getting ready to hunt pigeons for one dove's going to be following it with and then teal so those are all three pretty fast birds the pigeons are pretty slow but you guys get the point here we go we're gonna this is modified still we're just shooting Woo! dusted baby yeah buddy the thing is about this i have to keep putting it in here by myself which that takes a bunch of time which I'm not complaining. This is still a lot of fun. Here we go. All right, get it done again. Oh, that's a low one. Ooh, clipped it. Took the top off. I'm not the best thrower. That's the thing. Is getting good at throwing is the first. Is the first. There we go. Oh goodness. See, and sometimes you just absolutely whiff it. So. Yeah, it's a lot quicker if you have two guys, you know, one throwing, one shooting. Do about a box at a time. A box of shells, I mean. And then rotate. But we're going solo today, boys. We're going solo. Come on, baby. Oh, little, little one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That boy got dusted, though. See, that's what I'm saying is when you have to juggle both of these things, you never know how you're going to throw it. If you're going to throw it really good, really far, or really short because I'm not good with this and you guys might be better at throwing this thing than I am. I'm not the best so it really, I think that's where my sufferings come from is just not being good at throwing it. But like I said guys, this just builds shouldering because you have to get it there as quick as you can. So you have to drop this and then get it here and get that bird killed as quick as you can. It simulates fast birds. If you can imagine doves or teal diving in on you and you're like oh shoot him and you didn't even expect him coming this is what this technique provides some good muscle memory Woo! Get the particle. oh and i got the particle yeah see keep getting better now i'm i've only shot maybe 10 shots and i just keep getting better quicker all you guys do the same this builds your confidence in shooting and it just builds your skill level Two, two main things, confidence and your shooting. And you cannot build confidence if you don't practice. This is getting down to the bare minimum. I'm telling you guys, 10 bucks, go buy you one. I'll link it down below. Get to practicing. I'll tell you what, you're gonna shoot a lot more birds and you're gonna kill them on the spot instead of wounding them and having to you know, wing them, then go chase them for a mile. All right, here we go. We're gonna give her one more time with the modified. If we do good with the modified, I'm gonna switch to the full. So here we go. There we go, busted it. I almost missed my safety. Did you hear me click it off? Some of the other throws, I was leaving the safety off, throwing it and uh, shooting it, but having to hit that safety, making that muscle memory helps a ton. So it's just another added deal that you have to, have to do. So it's just so much going on. If you get good at this, guys, I'm telling you what, you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna become a really good shooter, literally really fast. You have all summer to go shoot, guys. Get out there, it's cheap. Clay Rock is like six bucks a box for 90 of them. These, these cheap game and target loads that you buy for 100 rounds for 20 bucks at Walmart, go get you guys this stuff. It's extremely cheap to go practice and it's a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna switch up chokes here. I'm gonna throw in the full, which I fell in love with the full this past year. It was helping me just kill the heck out of geese uh the modified i really like for ducks so i'm probably gonna probably gonna most of the time run a modified for for teal dove except for pigeon pigeons are a little harder to kill um 
But let's try the full. Uh, that's what I'm used to because that's what I ran literally over half of the season. So let's give it a whirl and I might actually be better with it. I don't know. All right, first go with the full choke. There we go, good throw. Oh, see, it's way different. See, that is the thing with switching up chokes. My buddy Jameson, the owner of Snows Down Low, he was like, stop switching up your, ch your chokes all the time. You need to get used to one. So, I, I, do, I do agree because the way you lead that bird is gonna, is gonna get different every time you switch that choke. So, I recommend kind of leaving the same choke in for everything. If you can get used to a full, leave the full in. All right, full choke, attempt number two. Let's see if I can define the difference. And, I'm, and I think I just led that other one way too far. I'm gonna put it on the clay. Yeah, directly on it, so. Yeah, just learned it. Full choke, put the bead on the bird, baby. That modified, I can tell you right now, I was leading it eh, about six to eight inches, somewhere around there. The full, you put it on it. I got you guys out in front to give you a little angle of what all I got going on here. So here we go. Full choke, let's roll them. Oh geez. Busted it though. Oh geez. Busted it though. That was a short throw, but I put the beat on it. That full choke, I'm telling you guys, put the beat on it with the full modified. Lead it just a little bit. All right, here we go. We ready? Full choke again. I'm gonna keep practicing with the full. I really like the full. I fell in love with the full this year, like I told you guys. We're gonna keep practicing with it. There we go. See, I, I'm used to that full choke. Putting the bead on that full choke, I'm used to doing that. Like I just said, get used to a choke. If you can get used to the full choke, I'm telling you, you're gonna kill more birds and you're, you're not only gonna kill more, but you're, they're gonna be dead on impact. They're not gonna hit the ground and then get up and start walking away. That full choke, that pattern at 30, 40 plus yards, my deal at 40, at 40 yards, your modified's pretty much over, and unless you're shooting small birds and small ducks and, and you're kinda getting, not lucky, but I used the modified for a long time. The extended modified is much better than running the stock bore, you know, whatever, in, internal choke. Get an extended choke. Buy a modified, buy a full. Geese, use your full choke. Ducks and small game, start out with your modified. If you're not killing them, switch to your full. The full choke, you barely have to lead it. Anywhere 30 yards and lower, you will put the bead on that bird and pull the trigger. Anywhere above 30, 40, 50 yards, you're gonna have to lead with the full, of course, but with full choke, you get used to that bad boy, game over. I thank each and every one of you guys for always tuning in and giving me your comments down below and giving me your suggestions down below for video content. Uh, if you guys don't comment, there's a lot of times, yeah, I, I know some good how-tos that I think you guys might like, but when you guys go down there and actually tell me that's where these good videos come up. And then I, I put one together, then two, and I'll, I just come up with crazy ideas like this. But if you guys like this video again, I know I've asked three times, but hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 500 likes. If y'all can help me do that, another shooting and accuracy, let's make it patterning. Next week will be coming up for you. The first thing to get comfortable with is shouldering your gun. Now we all think, especially as beginners and, and, and even at you know intermediates, we all get just comfortable with our shooting and we don't practice, we don't update it. But I can tell you one thing, get good at shouldering that gun. The more you get used to shouldering that gun, the more you can concentrate on bead placement and your aiming. Being comfortable with that gun, making it a, just a muscle memory. And a lot of my videos, go back and watch some of the snow goose hunts. I'm laying on my back. I'm not even in one of those lay down chairs or a lay down blind, just flat on the, on the flat ground. In my opinion, that's the hardest way to shoot uh, is because you're, you're using all your ab muscles and your back muscles, you're sitting up, and then you're upright a lot of times shooting like this. So you wanna, you wanna naturally fall back. That's what it feels like when you start laying on the bare ground and shooting birds. But once you do it enough, you, you see in some of my hunts, man, sometimes I, I just shot so well, and other times I struggled. But I can tell you by the end of this year, I hunted so much 
because of you guys watching in the YouTube channel. And again, thank you. This is so, I, I am blessed. Like I'm blessed to, to be able to do this for you guys every single day. But back to my story, by the end of this last season, my shooting accuracy got so good because I shot so much. In the off season, that doesn't mean just because I was good at the end of last season, I'm gonna be that good at the beginning of the season. You get rusty without practice. So again, guys, build your confidence in your shooting by practicing. You have to do it. It's just like blowing a duck call. If you wanna be confident to blow it in front of people, you gotta blow the thing. You gotta practice. That's the only way we get good. But again, guys, I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe because if you're here watching this video, you're interested in learning waterfowl, having tips, shotgunning tips, pigeons, geese, ducks, all the above, dove, yada, yada, yada. The list can go on and on. Subscribe. But these how-tos, I'm going to keep coming all summer long into the next season, providing you guys the videos that you want to see and that you request. But if you guys haven't, go follow myself and Ducks on Instagram. At Ducks, we're going to be coming out with huge July 4th sales on all of our Freedom t-shirts and a bunch of other stuff. Got a lot of stuff coming at Ducks, so go follow them on Instagram to stay up to date with everything, all the discounts, all the sales that we got going on at Ducks. So thank you guys for watching again. We'll see you on the next one. Peace! Yeah. Guala, 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 guala I'm living like it's no tomorrow Don't know my style, won't let you borrow You're thirsty, have a glass of water I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead